Hey everyone, it's Jared and welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about my first experiences with StarCraft 2 and the they call them like training missions. The, the, you basically play three matches against the AI. So a little bit about my history with StarCraft. It's one of the first strategy games in the RTS genre that I played and my brother had it and he showed me it and it was really cool and I would always get destroyed by the AI. So I, I really just kind of played it. I played the campaign for StarCraft 1. I never played online, thank God, because I, I would have been destroyed. But StarCraft 2 is out. Uh, back when it first came out, my cousin showed me a little bit about it. So I knew actually a couple things about StarCraft 2 that I didn't know, like that I shouldn't have known, but I did. So I played the tutorial. Now, first of all, I didn't read. I expected... The first tutorial mission, uh, when I picked the Protoss, was I expected it to be the AI was set to like a medium difficulty, like what you would expect in StarCraft 1. I expected to fight that AI. I was wrong. They set it to very easy. My first match lasted 30 minutes because I was afraid of dying. And I was like, well, I might as well try my best. And as soon as I beat the mission, like, I sent my army in and just decimated the AI because it was set to very easy. I was like, oh, um, I just wasted like 20 minutes because I could have just built up a 10 zealot army and just killed everything. So then, of course, the second mission when I played the Zerg, I Zerg rushed because I know how to do that because I'm not a noob and just completely destroyed everything. Then I played as the Terran. The AI that they set when I played as the Terran was a little bit difficult, a little bit intimidating. But I managed to beat it. So my first experiences with StarCraft 2 was, well, I decimated the training AI, which is to be expected because I know how to play in RTS and I understand how StarCraft works. But from playing StarCraft 1 to 2, the game is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a older game. I have it set to low qual, like extremely low quality, just so I can record and. Uh, FPS's, I know frames per second matter on these games, so of course I'm going to play at lower quality because then I get a better FPS. But, like, the fact that they start you off with more than four builders is amazing. The fact that they're like, oh, we're going to we're gonna have, um, like, I think you start with, like, 12 builders, you know, your, your SVC, SCVs, yeah, SCVs, your drones your probes, you start off with 12 of them and you can immediately get into the action, right? Because StarCraft 1, when you started playing StarCraft 1, all it was was like, all right, how many things do I want before I start building things? Like, let's just say eight. I don't know what the meta is. So you just sit and wait around for eight things to get built and then just be like, oh, all right, let's build the first building. Let's build the second building. Now it's just like, it's... It's amazing. I love it. The menus actually were kind of hard for me to navigate, but I overall enjoyed my training experience. My, I don't know what you want to call it, placement matches, the game figuring out how good I am at it. And I am excited to explore StarCraft II some more. I have a job that this guy wants me to put together a couple trailers for his esports league, and it's StarCraft II in North America. And so I downloaded the game, didn't want to play it, and then I was finally like, you know what? I need to sit down and play some video games. And it's definitely a game that I can just kind of plug in and chill out on. StarCraft 2 for me isn't a stressful game. Uh, Age of Empires 3 was more stressful because I, I knew where my skill level was and I would always place myself in, in at least competitive level matches. So when I play Age of Empires 3, I would just, like, if even one thing of my meta was off, I would just want to not even play. But with this game, it's a... I heard a meow, but... <laughs> but with this game, it's a new game, fresh game. I understand how it works because I played StarCraft 1, and I'm excited to learn about the... just the nuances of StarCraft 2. So, I mean, that's all I gotta say about... StarCraft 2. I mean, that was my first experience with it. Once I got on, I played the three training matches, and 
it made me love the game. It made me love StarCraft again. It's an amazing game series, and I'm excited to play more of it. So that's it for this video, guys. Short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to tell me in the comments below. Subscribe, because I'm definitely going to make at least one more StarCraft 2 video. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm not Pacific anymore. Oh, my God. I'm Jared. Uh, bye.